And that guy, yes, I'm fine. the wolf man, I'm, I'm he's fine. fine. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. Nothing happened. We're good. Glad that you're here. Start recording. Start recording. Time for us to start recording. Yay. How is everybody today? Time to start recording on a Friday. Friday of Memorial Day yeah. weekend in 2024 in arkansas the usa Yeesh. gonna have a hot weekend some sun hopefully not much rain i hope not we have a lot of rain you want to go swimming swimming well, then you can stay here i probably will okay that's fine you're, with me you're gonna go in that one ask your water and go swimming what water to the, the pool the pool in Alma? Uh, a public pool. All right. Now, so let's just move on ahead here. Um, we covered, uh, did a reaction of this song a couple weeks back, uh, the song One by Metallica. And we did a cover by Apocalyptica Teacher. with James Hetfield yeah. doing spoken word. But it was a lot harder to understand exactly what the um, song is about. Right. And so we've been uh, urged to go and do the original, react to the original as well. Wish we had done them in opposite order, but that's okay. We're still doing it. We're doing one. We're doing it. Right? Yeah, apparently we are. But just get off my back. I'm kidding. I have some like your hamsters and things. All right. Um, you want to put your headphone on? Yeah, going. I guess so. In order to listen to it, that would be necessary. Oh, please, God, wake me. 
Wow. Okay. That was hugely dark. I had not seen that before. Have you? No. Um, were you a, a Metallica girl back in the day? No. That's oh, why I, I hadn't seen it. I wasn't. I mean, a, I knew some songs from the radio. I, I don't even remember songs from the radio, but by Metallica. They're still touring, apparently, because it's Yeah, up. they're still alive. Yeah, they're still around. Um, and and um, they, they did that thing with um, Apocalyptica yeah. not long ago. Yeah, it was mainly just James Heppel, the rest of the I think the band. they're drummer as well. Oh, okay. But um, I, I knew it was going to be dark because yeah. of the war right. theme, but I didn't realize it was going to be this dark. Really dark. And the, 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 uh, the juxtaposition of the, the visuals of the guy laying there, no arms and legs. Got blown up in the war apparently and fine couldn't go. It was paralyzed. Still alive. Uh, paralyzed. It, yeah, I mean, basically they couldn't see him, couldn't do anything paralyzed. Yeah. And he's basically tapping out SOS Morse code somehow. Yeah, kill me. Yeah. It's just some, something that wasn't moving enough for him to, to be able to do that. His head. Yeah, it was his head. Um amazingly dark. I liked it a lot. And I think it says a lot about about you know that particular subject and where, where they where their heads were out at whenever it was done 30 years ago mm -hmm. um i don't know anything about metallica i was almost listening to that top music back when they were popular metallica megadeth as i've gotten older i've gone back and listened to some of their stuff so yeah i can appreciate it more now yeah but, i mean their strings are always right on and i love um the vocals and metallica yeah. that yeah. i've heard um, is that Marie Sarzo playing guitar? It looks like you got that a guitar player named Marie Sarzo. And I'm sure of my ignorance here, and probably some people out there are going to yell at me, but it looked like Marie Sarzo. Uh, is he Marie a Sarzo. part of Metallica? I don't know. Oh, well, we'll find out. I'll give it a show. Um, there was just something about, like, there were so many different themes put out there, but I think that was Jason Robards. It was. Yeah. That was and he was talking to the little boy about yeah. democracy and about how any man would give his only begotten son it's, it's, for democracy, it's, it's, which it's, it's, is kind of a juxtaposition of Jesus. But, but he also says, he had the kid ask him, and he looks for me, the kid, what is democracy? And he said, well, I think it's two men, there were two guys fighting, or something about fighting in war. He says two guys going off to war, two men biting each other or something. I don't know. He's what he said, and then that, and it, it kind of put me as a, Yeah. It's interesting. We handled our veterans way differently back then. Yeah. And, and then especially the ones with brain damage, um, because we didn't know enough about it. And, of course, we weren't as good to all of our veterans as we I should have been we, anyway. We treated them worse than now, though. I really do. I don't well, really I have mean, a respect for them that they deserve, whether you believe in war or not, whether you think it's wrong or not, which in a lot of times I do as well. But I think we, we need to respect the guys that go fight for us because I never went. I had no intention of going. But really, I had for you know, family members in Vietnam, you know, World War One, I, I mean, World War Two for sure. And and uh, we didn't even respect the Aaron, especially the Vietnam guys. Just yeah, they didn't them. get it when they got back. But um, just medicine and psychology now yes, are so different right. that yeah. it, 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 way back then, if you had someone, they were talking about his, his cerebrum not showing any activity right. or whatever. So they just cover his face and cover his body and then take care of him. Right. But or do that, basically. Yeah, right. but he hmm, trapped inside this yeah. body. And but you're right. We can do more now with medicine than we ever could. And hopefully we'll use that medicine to improve people's lives, especially our beds. Yes, and their um their um yes, their future lives after after the war. conflict, after mm -hmm. with all of the PTSD, with all of the the um alcoholism and, and drug abuse to drown out the the terrible things that they've seen. Um on, yeah. my, on my channel. Uh, recently, I did a uh, cover of a song from the No Nukes uh, concert, and, uh, and and I did the No Nukes, and then I did another cover of it, 
Um, and it just made, it did make me laugh, but it made me kind of smirk a little bit because this is 1979. But it's been roughly 10 years after Woodstock. So still a lot of peace, a lot of joy, no nukes. You shut it all down. It's worse. It's worse now than it was in 79, I think. We don't have Russia to deal with, but now we have China. And we okay, have other well, it's probably not a good idea to well, I'm just saying, get I mean, into all of it. it, it, it we looked at, back at these things with rose-colored color glasses. Oh, the yeah, rose-colored glasses. Like it's, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. There's a lot of pain in the world, and we need to address it, and we need to be praying for people and advocating for them. How about that? How about that, huh? You don't have the people here. Okay. I just don't do much right around here, but... Well, now that you admit it, it's easier to... <laughs> I'm glad we watched this. It was a rough watch. It was. The music was good. I was more taken, you know, with the video and everything, but uh, definitely iconic. Definitely one that people said, if, if you haven't seen this, you need to see it. Yeah, we, and yeah. they were right. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and close out then. If you like this video, oh, and it's Memorial Day weekend, which is appropriate for this. I think you said it. I did, but I didn't equate it to this song because oh, okay. we hadn't watched it. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, share with your friends, leave us some comments, hit the notification bell. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider coming along and subscribing. We would love to have you come with us. Until we see you again, be blessed. Hey, don't worry me, please.